Well done. In this basic drill, the players are stationary and hand pass the ball over a short distance to one another. This type of drill is particularly appropriate for players who are in the cognitive and associative stages of learning and still developing performance of the skill into a smooth action. Here the players are performing very well. The coaches identifying this decide to change the drill to make the challenge for the players more difficult. Four big steps backwards. One, two, three, four. They do so by introducing some movement with this intermediate drill. The players move in and out to attack the ball. Some of the players now begin to pass the ball poorly as they have yet to refine their technique to perform the skill while in motion. Most players, however, are performing well again, so the coaches further increase the challenge by introducing more movement in this square formation. The players must also time the pass correctly to connect with the player leaving the cone ahead. A few of the players have reached the autonomous stage of learning for this skill and performed the drill without any difficulty. However, the further demands of increased pace and changing the direction of the drill so the players must use the other hand, now expose the limitations of many players and mistakes begin to happen regularly. Having progressively challenged the skill level of the players, the coaches realise that this drill is too advanced for the group as a whole and they decide to simplify it slightly. They adapt the circular movement so that the demand to have very good timing to complete the pass is lessened. As a result, the challenge is more appropriate for many of the players and many perform successfully. Once they can consistently perform the skill in these conditions, the coaches should again increase the challenge to continually motivate the players to achieve mastery of the skill.